I fervently hope that MT is not just about competing and winning awards. Most importantly, it has to be about cultivating an innovative mindset within the society, bringing entrepreneurs as well as scientific and technology community, tech communities together to find common ground by collaborating and working towards bringing better technology solutions, innovative products to the world. I hope that this three days event will provide substantial opportunities for participants from multifarious backgrounds to not only display their innovations and inventions, but also to seize the opportunity to interact, discuss and exchange ideas on the latest techniques and technology that will eventually benefit all, inshallah. MTE provides a conducive platform for innovators to promote their invention through various innovative approaches as well as to expand. So this exhibition also allows them to find potential investors or customer to help in marketing and commercializing their invention products in the market. We need to continuously inspire, ignite and innovate our youth to make sure that they will become prosumer. We want to thank our partners, uh, Protein Group and Team with over 20 years experience in organizing such an event for making this possible. We came from Poland, Vietnam, country Croatia, Iran, and the Taiwan, Bali, Indonesia. So far, it's been extremely interesting to see a broad range of technical and scientific endeavors. We made a lot of contacts regarding next step with the uh, university community and with real sector community. We are very glad uh, we are here and uh, for this uh, great exhibition. Very high performance and uh, that we show what the technology we have. It is indeed my privilege to welcome all participants to the Malaysia Technology Expo 2020 Special Edition, the COVID-19 International Innovation Awards. Thank you for joining us, especially all the international participants. Saya bagi pihak uh, Nadmah Malaysia uh, mengucapkan terima kasih dan juga
untuk syabas kepada NTE 2020 COVID-19. It is my pleasure to join you today at the Malaysia Technology Expo NTE 2020 Special Edition COVID-19 International Innovation Awards Ceremony to recognize and celebrate the hard work of those among us who constantly push the boundaries of innovation. I would like to congratulate all the winners as well as your team members who have been supporting you throughout your journey. MTE 2021 Virtual Edition will be the catalyst in encouraging innovators and inventors to share and inculcate innovativeness and sustainability in their research. Innovation is not just about making new and better products. It encompasses all aspects of ideas, processes, systems, services, methods and models. As large gatherings are no longer encouraged, I'm happy to see that the MTE has gone virtual. This will allow more innovators and to, to promote their innovation and share their ideas with the world. We look forward to university putting a strong effort to forge strategic collaboration with industry to generate new sizes, innovations and commercial activities. There may come a day in the near future when we have overcome this crisis, but our innovation may be able to assist another country in the fight against the pandemic. To lift student engagement and attainment in innovation and to support teachers and improve student outcome, innovation and techno brand mind. Involving youth at an earlier stage is important, especially as Malaysia is slowly but surely becoming a grey nation. Innovation alone is not sufficient. We must also create an infrastructure for incubation of ideas and transform them into successful ventures. Enhancing not only in the design but also the delivery of public goods and services for the people. Innovation in government is imperative not only to transform but also to stay ahead of change. The quick responses to protect the citizens from COVID-19 shows the unity of the nation. Know that your contribution is critical to the transformation of our country. I'm fully confident that this year's MPE IIA, albeit on a new normal platform and approach, has achieved its desired impact. It has been nurturing the innovation culture among scientists, researchers, students and startup founders in order for them to transform their ideas into business ventures.
Ladies and gentlemen, our next lined up program is a knowledge sharing session. Please enjoy. Hello everyone, and a very good morning to all our audience today. Welcome to the Malaysia Technology Expo 2021 COVID-19 International Innovation Awards, part two. We have a knowledge sharing session from National Registration Department, and the topic is delivering services in new normal by a National Registration Department experiences in MCO 1.0 and 3.0. We have today Puan Suzaila Sharudin and also Tuan Saiful Yazan. And uh, without further ado, I would like to invite Tuan Saiful to start the floor. Thank you very much. Thank you, Puan Oran. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and uh, very good morning to the viewers. First of all, uh, on behalf of uh, Malaysian Association of Creativity and Innovation, uh, I would like to thank uh, Malaysian Technology Expo for inviting uh, Micri to join uh, in this uh, expo. Um, in this knowledge uh, sharing session, uh, we are going to talk about uh, uh, delivering in a new normal for National Registration Department. Uh, with me today is Madam. Suzaila Sharuddin, the Director of Integrity Unit in the NRD. I was told uh, uh, she, she had been uh, in the NRD since 2016. I held a few posts before being a Head of Integrity in the, in the uh, one of it is as a, as a Director of uh, uh, Policy in JPN. Uh, she, she knows a lot of uh, uh, the NRD that can be shared with us today. Thank you, Madam uh, Suzaila, for joining us in this webinar. Uh, thank you, Tuan Saifu. I'm happy to be here. Okay, um, before we go further, maybe uh, Puan Suzaila, Madam Suzaila, you can just share with us uh, about NRD activities. Yes, of course, my pleasure. Um, the National Registration Department um, is a government agency under the preview of the Ministry of Home Affairs. Um, our services uh, can be divided into three. First of all, we are the uh, National uh, Civil Registration Agency, whereby we register all the vital uh, um, events or in a person's life. Uh, we register the birth, uh, marriages, divorces, adoptions, and deaths. Um, we are also the agency that uh, um, <coughs> determines or uh, that verifies citizenship status. And finally, we are also the agency that is the um, <coughs> The, that is responsible for the national identification management um, uh, services where we provide uh, the national um, ID cards. Um, the, the marriage and the divorce is for non-Muslim, is it? Oh, yes, that's correct. Uh, for us uh, in the NRD, our focus when it comes to marriages will be for the non-Muslims only because as we know for the Muslims, we have um, uh, Islamic agencies that will look into that. Yes. Okay, good. Uh, thank you for the short introduction. I was told uh, from my own experience also, uh, NRD, or we are in, a, in, a, in a Malay language, we call it JPN, Jabatan Pendaftaran Negara. It's a one of the yes, agencies right. that uh, really, uh, really embark on this innovation initiative. But uh, when we come to our focus now today is uh, to share uh, the challenges we have uh, in the MCO. So can you just uh, uh, share with us the challenges faced by the NRD in this MCO 1.0? last year and this the the new one 3.0 Yes, of course. Um, uh, basically, as uh, any other government agency, as well as the corporate sector, we are all, uh, wholeheartedly on board with all the um, the uh, standard uh, preventive measures that have been set by the uh, National um, Security Council. 
as well as the Ministry of Health. So basically, the uh, the basic uh, things that we do, we of course we make it compulsory for everybody who comes to JPN, uh, be it the staff or public who comes to JPN, we make it compulsory for them to wear the face mask. And then we also encourage the use of hand sanitizer. We provide ample hand, hand sanitizer, um, especially in uh, pub, uh, areas where there is public access. Uh, then we also um, uh, have a temperature check. So basically, uh, and most importantly, actually, is the um, uh, social distancing. Um, in this, uh, uh, this current MCO, the 3.0, uh, it's a partial lockdown, actually, even though we, we call it lockdown, not a lockdown, but uh, at least some activities have been uh, allowed to be carried on. Uh, for JPN, for NRP, uh, is there, uh, this public been allowed to have business or activities with uh, NRP? Okay, if well, they uh, not, the Sorry, uh, yes. if they are not uh, being allowed, uh, so what is the steps taken by NRP? Yeah. Obviously, with the uh, pandemic and all the SOPs that have been set by the central government, obviously work cannot be as uh, normal. Um, we, there are some um, changes that we had to do with the procedures that we have had uh, so far. Um, beginning from March of 2020, when the first MCO was announced, uh, we, had, uh, we weren't able to allow the public to present themselves uh, to JPN at their convenience because um, it would have been difficult for us to uh, practice social distancing. So the first thing that we did actually was to come up with a um, appointment system. Uh, this appointment system was first launched in March of 2020 and the appointment system back then was done manually. So uh, what happened then was that if the public were, uh, were to want to come to JPN, they first need to make a phone call or to email to get an appointment. But shortly after that, our uh, IT department came up with a more automated uh, appointment system, whereby from now, the public merely have to go online, pick the time and date that is comfortable for them, that is convenient for them, and book that particular spot. Uh, what this does actually, it does help shorten the time for the public when they come to GPN. Um, the wait time will be shortened um, considerably uh, because once they come at the allocated time, uh, we will attend to them almost immediately. So yes, that is uh, what we did. And for GPN, with this system, we were able to control the flow of public in all our premises. So. With that, we were able to uh, maintain social distancing. Okay. And um, actually, maybe you'll be interested also, sir, uh, about the fact that um, momentum from there, we also uh, came up with uh, various online application services. So that okay. too uh, further reduced the, the wait time for the public when they were to come to GPN. Hello, I'm Erika from Inopa. I would like to say thank you very much for MTE and congratulations for your 20th anniversary. Bye. Hello, I'm Gabriel from Cameroon, studying computer engineering at Tech University in Turkey. I would like to congratulate MTE 2021 on her 20th anniversary and also thanking them for the opportunity to help showcase RunLink technology which can help create awareness for MT events and also bring the big tech companies aboard to collaborate with our MT. Thank you. Happy 20th anniversary. And the services have been uh, offered by okay um, in April of 2021 just recently we have launched four online application services with these services um, uh, let me tell you the services the four online services are um, application for birth uh, birth registration app, um, uh, the extraction of birth certificate the application for um, um, my card or the national ID for 12 year olds and then um, the, ex uh, the application for the extraction of um, 
extraction from ID registry. So it's these three applications. And what's great about this application, sir, is that um, it further reduces the time for the public at JPN because once they uh, send in the registration via online, this uh, application actually will already be processed by us at the office even before the public comes to our, any of our premises. So basically, by the time they come to our premises, the application will be already halfway um, processed and uh, their wait time will be uh, reduced even more. So we do uh, strongly encourage actually for the public to utilize this uh, online services for their own convenience. Uh, good. Uh, what are the challenges in this online system? Uh, the first one on this uh, appointment, appointment system. What is the challenges here, JPN, the oh. in this system? Well, uh, first of all, um, especially with the initial uh, stage of the appointment system, whereby it was done manually, obviously uh, the manpower was an issue. Back then, uh, we also practiced um, um, work from home and that sort of thing. So uh, probably it was quite difficult uh, for the public to get through. Um, and then uh, to allocate the appointment time because um, it's done manually, so that was also quite complicated. Uh, fortunately, with the uh, automated system through the internet, it was um, a lot easier. The public can, um, on the spot, choose whatever time and date they want. But again, um, probably uh, the wait time for the slot, um, yeah, it could be, depending, you know, um, it, it may not be convenient for the people, probably for the public, the time that they want to come is not available. So those things are there actually. And then there are also a segment of the society that may not be so comfortable um, uh, using online services, using appointment. So especially the elderly, uh, uh, so that are some of the issues. But even then, uh, we do entertain um, anyone who come forward for help uh, uh, even if they couldn't get online, uh, couldn't get appointment, there are ways that we would help them, of course. Uh, you, do you mean by walk in? Walk in customer can uh, be allowed also? Uh, walk, especially now with MCO uh, 3.0, uh, we have reduced uh, um, the availab availability of our services uh, because right now it's pretty much a stricter lockdown in compa compared to the past. So, um, Talking about uh, the previous MCOs and uh, the time in between now, uh, we do allow walk-ins for emergency cases. Those who are not emergency cases, we would help them uh, get appointment online. Um, uh, what, what kind of emergency uh, uh, we can as an example? If uh, uh, I lost my emergency... ID... Sorry, come again? If I, I lost my uh, IC, identity card. Uh, is it uh, uh, considered as an emergency? Uh, depends on when we are talking about actually. Um, um, <clears throat> Maybe for the purpose. Uh, right now. Emergency? Yeah, uh, right now with the uh, MCO 3.0, uh, a loss of IC wouldn't be uh, considered simply a loss of IC wouldn't be considered an emergency for now. Uh, we would also require to know what they need the IC for in this two week period. Yeah, so if it's like they need to go to hospital, therefore they need their IC, that sort of things, yes. Or they need to get, uh, their whole purse was stolen, so they lost their ATM, so they need their IC in order to get a new ATM, that sort of things. So yeah. simply just misplacing their IC wouldn't be considered as an emergency. But uh, I believe for all these emergency cases, uh, type of emergency cases has been uh, put in uh, portal, eh? Japan portal, is it? Yes, yes, we have actually, yes, we have. Yeah. Good. Also, the online services are also in the portal, yeah? Yes, all the online services are in the portal, uh, JPN portal. We call it the eJPN uh, services. Oh. Yes, it's available there, yeah. Uh, how about in future? Uh, why, why do you think? Uh, maybe just a uh, back talk only with, between us. Uh, we are talking about online now. Eh? Online. But for me, 10 years ago, online services uh, is, a, is a wow innovation. But uh, mm -hmm. for this time around, online is quite, quite normal. Uh, 
maybe I don't know lah. For for me, um, maybe in future. Uh, yes, I. With uh, maybe we we shouldn't have the line actually. The services line. Without, services without line. Can can it <laughs> possible? I I I I. I don't quite follow that actually. I don't okay, quite people understand. Use, people, people used to say thinking outside of the box. Now people are <laughs> saying thinking without the box. Wow. <laughs> oh, that is like, oh, same, that's same very goes, interesting. Though. Same goes to the online services. Maybe in future, we should think of services without the line. I see offline services. We have now, before this is offline, manually. Yes. Now uh -huh. we, we introduce online. After uh -huh. this, after this, what's next in the innovation of uh, uh, delivery of registration? Oh, <laughs> um, I, I think we are working on the digital ID, but again, that is online. So <laughs> yes, digital ID, good. This is one of uh, what we so call uh, without line. We are using All biometric. Right. Uh, biometric yes, uh, everything yeah. Yeah. yeah shouldn't go to the yeah. portal anymore shouldn't go to the apps anymore is it is it uh the, the, the direction that the nrt is going um i i think it's relative uh we are in still in the infant stages of the id uh digital id and um, we are looking at all the best possible um, option uh, right now, actually. Uh, in fact, um, the, our IT department is currently going on a workshop right now with several uh, other government agencies to see which uh, path or which option will be uh, the best option. Yes. Yeah, because I remember uh, minister, uh, the Home Minister, Dr. Siza Hamza Zainuddin, has been announced has announced this uh, initiative, the digital ID. I think that's the, mm -hmm. the way forward. The uh, registration for Malaysia is going forward in the future. Um, um, uh, others, others than the online services, what kind of uh, innovation that uh, you can share with us uh, in JPN? Um, innovations, yeah. Uh, I think a lot. JPN all introduce a lot. I think it's my 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 think, experience. Uh, one, with, of the, huh? one of the newer ones that we just launched is our mobile um yeah. mobile uh registration. Yeah, mobile, yeah, the mobile units, yeah, the Makar yes, program. Yes. Yes, our mobile unit is something that we're quite proud of because here at GPN, our aim is to make sure that um, every segment of society is provided with the uh, the uh, identity documents that they they are eligible for. So this mobile um, mobile uh, uh, bus, uh, what they do is that uh, we go to uh, hard to reach areas, uh, to um, villages and so forth, where the, it's very difficult for the people to come to us. So uh, to help them get the proper identification that, that they need. It is a, a very proactive part of, of uh, the NRD actually to, to have this mobile registration. Very good because I've, I've um, seen a few, a few uh, uh, a few coverage by the media on these mobile activities, especially to those uh, OKU uh, people, you know, the Quran mm -hmm. on Fire. Eh? So very, very good. And uh, I think uh, JPN has do, done a lot of things. I also heard about this uh, JPN Zoom. Uh, Do you aware of JPN Zoom, the counter? Uh, the... Uh, it's a drive through counter. It's a drive through yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The drive-through counter that we have actually here in our HQ in Putrajaya, with the uh, mobile uh, 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 JPN Zoom, um, one do not need to come to the counter to get the document that they uh, they require. They just have to drive through our booth and um, get the collect. document there. It's like a drive-through, yeah, and collect the uh, document. Yes. Just to collect the document, yeah, you don't have to go to the office. Yeah, over there, there is a, 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 our biometrics and everything, so we can uh, verify their identity there and we'll pass the, the document. Um, and they don't have to even leave the car. Yeah, good. Uh. That, that's, that's what I said about uh, JPN. Eh? There's a lot of innovation has been uh, introduced 
to facilitate mm. the society, the members of uh, the people of Malaysia. Thank you very much, uh, Puan uh, <laughs> Suzaila, for sharing with us today. And for the viewers, oh, it's my uh, pleasure, sir. for the viewers, uh, please, if you have any question, you can just put in the system, uh, in the in the session uh, box there. Uh, you can ask, and maybe the Red NRD will give the answers to you as soon as possible to clear everything. And then thank you. At least understand that in MCO, the NRD has taken a very important steps not to close their activities or their deliveries, but they find ways and innovation to make sure activities of registration, the most important thing in our life, registration, to keep on uh, going. Thank you very much, Pan Suzela. Thank you, sir. Thank you for NRD. And thank you for MTE for uh, letting uh, Makri to join in, in this uh, uh, webinar. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Chet Saifu. And also, thank you very much, Puan uh, Suzaila. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that was a short sharing from uh, National Registration Department experience in MCO 1.0 and 3.0. So hopefully we can take some of the points and uh, now we're being informed about all the new uh, initiatives and uh, also new uh, steps that uh, JPN or National Registration Department is uh, trying to uh, impose and also trying to organize. Thank you very much, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it.